Good morning. This is Pastor Pete Seifert from Northminster Presbyterian Church, Tucson, Arizona. And it's Friday morning, and here's your devotional moment. So, I have a question for you. On a scale of one side to the other, so somewhere in between, are you more skeptical or are you more gullible? Do you tend to not trust what you hear when people tell you things, or do you tend to trust what people tell you? Now, you might say, oh, it just depends on where I'm getting my news from. Well, that's fair. Especially in this season, there's a whole lot of mistrust or overtrust about where it is that we should be learning what's true going on in the culture, politically or whatnot, uh, scientifically. So how is it that we're supposed to know what's really true? Well, I always think, I think a healthy skepticism is important. That helps guard against just confirming my own bias. But at the same time, I think I want to trust that journalists are trying to do their best. Uh, one of the things that parents tell us when we're little is, well, consider the source, right? Yeah, we do have to consider the source. And so, what is your source? What's your primary source for life and faith? Hopefully it's not the news. Hopefully it's God's word. When you look at Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So, if you're wondering what to believe, I'll say, just pause. If you hear something, don't just jump on the bandwagon. Don't just believe it out of hand. Uh, at the same time, maybe it could be true. But the, God's word says is we're going to need to test and approve what God's will is in everything. And so in our lives of devotion to God, as people who are living by faith, how is it that we're trusting in the discernment of God's spirit first and foremost? How is it as students of God's word that we're reading it regularly and letting it teach us what is most true in this world? How not only we're reading the Bible, but how we're allowing the Bible to read us and the world we live in and the context we're in uh, to help us know how to live by faith. How is it that we're allowing God's word and spirit to transform us, to renew our mind, to change even our thinking, to learn to ask good questions, and to live healthy as people who love others, who uh, seek the common good, and who understand that uh, while we seek to seek the best good in the place where we live now, here and now, that we seek to exhibit the kingdom of heaven to the world, that we know that our home, our eternal home, is one that God will remake for eternity. And it will be one that we can trust will always have a good news source. There will be no question in heaven uh, what is true and what is not. So on this side of heaven, we struggle, we discern, we seek God's leading. We seek to be encouraged by one another. And we don't get discouraged, even when there's bad news, because we know that God in Christ has overcome all the bad news. Because as people of faith, there's nothing that can happen to us that will remove us from the love of Christ. That is amazing news. All right, I hope you have a good Friday and an excellent weekend. God bless you.